Uh, Pope Francis has been in the U.S. all week with stops scheduled in New York, Philadelphia, D.C., but conspicuously missing from his itinerary is Los Angeles. We have the Pope on the line to talk about this. Thank you for calling, Pope. Thank you for having me, my son. Oh, wow. So, uh, Mr. Pope, I mean, what should I do? I call you Mr. Pope? I'm I don't. Well, my last name isn't Pope, so probably not, my son. Okay. Well, then how about Francis? Am I your buddy? Uh, are, we just two, <laughs> are we just two bros chilling on jet skis wearing Kango hats eating American hamburgers? Well, I mean, y- 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 you're right. I guess that's a little informal. How about, how about just Pope? Sure, whatever. Eventually, I need to get on with my life, my son. I can't play this game with you all day. Fine. So, Pope, why aren't you coming to Los Angeles? Well, it's simple. It's because I... You know what? I'm not really liking just Pope. Yeah? <laughs> As I, uh, what about Pontiff? Jeb, yeah, I've heard that one thrown around, but there's something about it I'm not a fan of. Uh, maybe because it sounds so similar to plaintiff, and it makes people think of courtrooms and jury duty. Or Pontiac? Either way, I'm not totes cray-cray about it. <laughs> yes. This Pope be like, nope. Um, okay, so wh- <laughs> what about your holiness? Uh, I guess. That's kind of a lot to live up to. Mm. It's not like I'm curing the blind over here, Mark. (laughs) I'm just chilling in my robe with my big hat, telling people to quit being greedy and buy a homeless guy a sandwich once in a while. I'm just giving speeches. I'm not making miracles happen like I'm Jesus or David Blaine. (laughs) (laughs) All right, see how this one works. How about Father? No, Mark. Do I look like I have a dad bod? (laughs) I mean, am I giving you a curfew? Do I go on and on about how I'm going to convert your bedroom into a home gym now that you've moved out but never get around to it because I threw my back out six years ago but refuse to go to the doctor because real men don't admit they're sick? No, I'm not a father. All right. Well, listen, we're we're running out of time. So how about Pope Francis? Eh, fine. Great. So anyway, why aren't you coming to Los Angeles, Pope Francis? The traffic. And it's too hot. I can't wear my big hat. My head will get all sweaty. I see. <laughs> also, it's a corrupt, morally bankrupt <laughs> cesspool where dreams are shattered on a daily basis And the only way to cope with the fact that true happiness will never come to you is to pretend you are successful, even though you know deep down that you'll never truly... Ooh, how about your excellency? That's kind of nice. I like the sound of that because it implies that I'm excellent. Well, listen, thank you for calling Pope Pontiff Francis Father, Your Excellency, Popey Holiness, Popey Poop. I like it, my son. Now, somebody's making himself some new business cards when he gets back to the Vatican. <laughs> Bless you, my children. Bless you, Pope. Thank, Thank you. you for calling. Oh. Thank you. We'll slice off some business. Oh. We got a morally bankrupt cesspool.